Welcome back to your Pilates Reformer workout. Today we're going to be doing a full body workout. We're going to get into some unilateral work using one strap, which should include some cool variations, which we don't do too much on the channel. Today, this is going to be an express version of this workout. If you'd like to see the full length workout, please join my membership to get access to that. Check the description box for the link. So to begin, we'll start off on three reds and a blue or three heavy one light. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe and let's get started. Laying down on your back, headrest will be up. Find your neutral spine position. So bottom bottom of the sacrum heavy on the mat. Nice natural curve under your low back. Feet will be on the outside corners of the foot bar, arms down by your side. Take a big breath in. Exhale, zip the abs in and up as you press the legs long. Find your full extension, deep inhale, bring it all the way home. Ribs stay heavy. Exhale, press out. Inhale, bring it in. We're gonna take about six more of these. And as I encourage all of my clients that I teach in person, try to think about using the full count to come in and out. So what I mean by that is we don't straighten and pause and come in and pause. We wanna really milk this movement for every little moment so we get the most work out of it. So as soon as you straighten out to your fullest extension, start to slowly, carefully come back in. It requires the most control, it also protects your joints. Let's take two more. And one, next time you come in, bring it halfway home. Find that spot where you feel the most engagement through your glutes, hamstrings, inner thighs. Let's pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep your core on, five, four, three, two, one. Big breath in, exhale, shh, extend. Inhale, bring it all the way home. Turn to internal rotation, knees, towards each other, toes point towards each other, internally rotating through the hips. Exhale, extend, bend the knees, bring it in, knees come towards each other. So as we extend, we keep that internally wrapped position through the hips. The knees will separate at the top as you straighten out the legs and they'll come towards each other again as you bend. Every time you exhale, feel your abs engage and zip in and up and then relax a little bit on the return. Let's take four more. Last three, using your breath, two. Adjusting your feet if you need to, and one. Instead of pulsing, now we're gonna go for circles. Press out in your internal rotation. Rotate externally on the way out. And let's repeat, internal rotation, press out, switch to external, bring it in. You've got three. So we're drawing an inward circle on this version. Two. After this last one, we're gonna reverse. So next time you come in, stay in that external rotation, press out. Switch to internal rotation, knees come together on the way in. Knees press out, extend, knees in, bring it in. We're drawing an outward circle. <clears throat> last, whoops, last two. And one. Very nice, bring it all the way home. Next, we bring the legs together. Feet will flex, heels on the foot bar. Think about really drawing your toes toward you but bending at the ankles rather than just at the toes. We press out, keeping the legs zipped together. Bend the knees, bring it all the way in. Push through the heels to feel the glutes engage. Glutes and hamstrings are also likely gonna feel quads. Think about reaching your pinky toe for your nose as well. You can pick up the pace here as long as you're not pressing out and popping into the joints. I still would like to encourage you to keep control of this the whole time, but the pace can be a little more brisk if you like. Let's take four. Last three. Final two. And one. Keep your neutral spine halfway home. Tiny pulses up and down. This is eight, seven, six, five, four, oh, my quads are burning. <laughs> Three, two, one, big inhale, exhale, shh, all the way straight, inhale, bring it home. Now we bring toes to the foot bar, heels raised. Keep that raised heel position. Legs stay together. We press out, lower for three, two, one. As soon as you get to the bottom, lift three, two, one. Bend the knees, bring it home with control. Exhale, press out as soon as you stretch under three, two, one. As soon as you're at the bottom, three, two, one, lift. Bend the knees, bring it home. So we're in this constant motion. Nothing is stopping or pausing. 
As soon as we hit that extension or that high or low point, we're already moving on to the next position. Let's take five. And in, exhale out, four. Think about like you're pushing something down with your heel. It's not elegant, but I like to think about like I'm trying to shove trash into a trash bin. Like I'm juicing an orange with my heel. That one's maybe a little bit more appetizing. <laughs> Two more. Keep those heels lifted, lifted, lifted. Really try to focus on finding your full height. And one. Now we're gonna pause with the legs straight. Lower and lift. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. If your ankles are popping, it's okay. As long as it doesn't hurt, three. Mine is going to town right now. And one. Lift both heels, run. Bend one knee, extend the other. Find your accent up. Up so you're not sinking into the stretch. We want action. We want energy here. Really push through the ball of the foot. We'll get a stretch right after this one. So don't worry about that. Relax your face, relax your shoulders, relax your traps. We've got 10, nine, Eight, take this as brisk as you can control it. Six, five, four, three. Ooh, my calves are burning, I don't know about you. And pause on the stretch, whichever side you're on. <sighs> One foot on the foot bar, other heel presses under, take a big breath in. Feel your lungs expand in every direction. <sighs> Exhale, abs engage, feel the stretch deepen, relax your leg a little bit more. Big inhale, shh, exhale, extend, switch sides. Big breath in, feel the stretch deepen. Feel a little bit more pressure of the shoulder blocks into your shoulders. Letting the springs pull you in a little bit deeper. Big inhale, exhale, straighten out the knees, bend the legs, bring it home. Let's move on. Next, we come all the way in. I've switched to two reds and a blue spring or two heavy one light. Headrest goes down, that's very important. We'll take a quick bridge sequence. So coming down to lying on your back, give yourself some room between the shoulders and the shoulder blocks. Arches of the feet on the foot bar, hip distance apart. If you are advanced and you'd like more challenge, you can go up onto the balls of the feet with the heels raised, but be cautious. So we'll start off in our neutral spine position. Again, heavy sacrum, arms down by your side. Deep breath in, exhale, curl the pelvis under, roll the spine up. Find your nice diagonal line from your knees to hips to your shoulders. Squeeze the glutes under, big inhale, shh. Exhale, roll the spine down. And I really mean it when I say try to get every bone in your back to make contact with the mat as you come down. You may feel like you have to take a giant scoop under with the pelvis. It's intentional. And keep going until the bottom of your sacrum hits the mat, but keep your ribs down so you're not popping the rib cage up to make that happen. Let's continue. I'm gonna lift my arms so you can see. Let's start to melt the low back into the mat. Really get your lumbar spine, that lowest part of your back, to make contact. Roll up, peel every little bone up. Try not to grip onto the carriage with your hands. Deep breath in, <sighs> feel the abs zip in and up. Melt the spine down again. Really challenge yourself. Make a game out of it. See if you can get each bone in your spine. You're gonna feel like someone's, you're folding over someone's arm right above your hip bones. If you're really making that full contact. Let's take two more. <sighs> Exhale, roll up. Find your bridge. Big breath in. Shh. Melt it all the way down. Find that big, 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 big scoop. And try to keep the carriage still. Not like there's enough to think about, right? We have to worry about that too. Roll up. All the way up. Melt the spine all the way down. And pause. Good. Now we're gonna do the opposite of what I just said we're gonna do. So instead of that 
peeling up articulated bridge, we're just gonna press up in a neutral spine and come down in a neutral spine. So what does that mean? We're keeping the bottom of the sacrum heavy. We're keeping this curve in the low back. We're not scooping under with the pelvis as we come up, more like a glute bridge. So arms relax down, shoulders back, big breath in. Exhale, press the hips up, squeeze the glutes. Keep your knees right in line with your toes and right in line with your hips. Big inhale, Ooh, try to control the carriage. I did not, you can do better than I can. Big, or than I just did. Big inhale. Exhale, squeeze the glutes, abs zip in and up and down. Big breath in and down. Let's go for five, four. Take a moment, check in with your face. Make sure you're not frowning here, squeezing your forehead muscles. Let's relocate that effort into your glutes and into your core, into your hamstrings. Last two. And one, pause at the top, tiny pulses up and down. Keep that glute squeeze. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top, press out and in for five. Think about the knees coming on an upward diagonal. Four, control the whole movement. Three, last two. Don't let your bottom dip down on the return. And one, good, bring it all the way home. Lower the spine down, walk your feet as wide as the foot bar once the stopper is closed. Let's windshield wiper the knees side to side. You can let your top hip fall over to the side, releasing your low back, releasing your hip flexors. When you're ready, we're gonna move on. Next, let's switch onto a red and a blue spring or heavy and a light. I put the headrest up. We'll start with some arms and then we'll move on to a little bit of single leg, single strap, and then get into more for core after that. So taking both straps, we're gonna turn onto your back, rest your head down on the headrest, and we'll place hands and straps. If you've got long loops and short loops, use the short loops. Move your body a little bit away from the shoulder blocks. Legs come up to tabletop. Think about getting your knees right over your hips, shins parallel to the ceiling so you're not giving yourself more support in the core by bringing your knees too close. Let's take a big breath in nice, long arms, reach your middle fingers toward the front wall. Press down and up. Deep breath in, exhale, press down and up. If you'd like to curl up the head, neck and chest, you're welcome to do so. Other options to include in addition to or in, instead of that would be extending one leg or both as the arms press down. And of course, if you're advanced, you're welcome to keep the legs out at 45 and leave them there. That can be also be included or joined with the curl up. I'll stick with the tabletop and the curl. Let's take four, three, last two. Feel your belly button zipping up two and one. If you're in a curl, hold the curl, anchor your elbows down, bend and extend the elbows, tricep extensions. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, last three, two, one, if you're in the curl, rest your head down, raise your arms up over the shoulders either way. Next, we'll press the palms down to the sides, bend the elbows, now wing them out to the side in kind of a W position. We're gonna press the palms into the waist, bend the elbows while keeping them anchored into the waist. You've got seven, six. Actually, I'm gonna rest my head down. My neck's feeling a little tired today. Five, but do what's best for you. Four. Last three, fingertips come out on the diagonal. Two, and one. Press the hands down, flip the palms to face the mat, raise the arms up. Bring the arms out to a T. We'll do T, also known as snow angel. Let's press the palms into the waist. Inhale, raise the arms back up to shoulder height. If you'd like to, curl up with the head, neck, and chest. Feel free, you can also include the leg movement one leg at a time or both legs together, whatever suits your fancy. Make this as challenging as you would like. We're gonna go for four. Last three. Final two. 
and one. Flip the palms to face down. Circles to the outside about the size of a dinner plate. We're going for 10, nine. Reach the middle fingers forward, really pressing through the straps. Six, five, four. Shoulders down and away from your ears. Two, one. Let's reverse. You've got 10, hopefully feeling all the muscles around your upper back, your shoulder blade, your armpit even. Five, four, three, two, and one. Raise the arms up over the shoulders. Rest your feet down on the foot bar. Grab both straps in one hand. Come to sit up. We're gonna move on. Now we move on to the unilateral part of this workout. I've switched to a red and a yellow or a heavy and an extra light. If you don't have the extra light, you could substitute that for just the heavy. I've removed the foot bar. If your reformer just tilts the foot bar down, feel free to do that next. We're gonna grab the right strap into our hands, come to lying down, headrest is up. Press away against the sandpaper with your left leg. Place the right strap onto your right thigh. If you have long loops and that's more comfortable, feel free to do that, but choose whatever feels best. Both legs in tabletop with that right strap on the right leg. We're gonna flex feet, nice neutral spine, Press the right leg out to your low point, bend the knee, bring it home. You can bring that knee a little bit closer in toward your ribs past tabletop, as long as you're not also scooping the pelvis under. We want the bottom of the sacrum to be really heavy. So that knee can come further in, but think about the bottom of the sacrum really pressing down. If you'd like to curl up with the head, neck, and chest, you can hover the head like this with the arms forward. That's your choice. Let's take two and one. Nice. Now we're gonna point the toes. We'll go for a little bit of a dead bug. So we're gonna keep each leg bent at a right angle. The right leg is gonna dip down. The left knee is gonna come toward your chest. You're gonna switch the position. Right knee comes forward, left knee goes down. So you wanna use slow controlled movements so you're not just using momentum to move the carriage here. It's very easy to let those springs kind of zip you back, but I need you to be in control of the springs so that we're firing up these deep core muscles, these lower abs here. So this one is one where you really want to move in slow motion. If you're just pulsing through the strap, you're going to feel next to nothing. So really take your time. Good. Let's do three more. And switch. Last two. Switch. And one. Once you're even, bring both legs to tabletop. Make sure you're pressed down into your left hip just as much as your right hip, and you're going to want to rock to your right side. We're going to bend the right knee, extend the left leg out, bicycles. Reach that right leg up, extend it forward. And think about like you're riding a really, really tall bike. You're gonna feel a lot of work through that right hamstring. I forgot the word for hamstring for a second. And probably through the left hip flexor as well. And if you've got a well that dips down, meaning if you've got a reformer with legs, you can take the, this movement fairly low. But I wanna encourage you to think about the pelvic stabilization. Once you've hit eight, we're going to reverse. Left leg dips down, right leg bends, and then comes to meet it. So I encourage you to keep this movement pretty low while we're here. It's going to challenge your abs a little bit more, but we definitely are getting a lot of hamstring on the right side for this one. We've got four. Last three. Final two. Oops, I kicked the spring by accident. And one. Both legs to tabletop. Keep the knees right over the hips. Open both legs out to the side. Shh, exhale, bring it into center. So we're working inner thighs here, but we're also working pelvic stability because we've got the spring resistance through the strap on the right side. Our center of balance is really being kind of thrown off. Even though we're in this lying down position, we still have to kind of fight for that pelvic support here, which is good. That makes us stronger. We're gonna go for four. 
Last three, two, and one. Good, anchor yourself down on the sandpaper with your left foot. Press away, take that right strap off of your leg. We're gonna move on to the other side. Now bring that left strap onto your left thigh. So I'm pressing away from the sandpaper on my right leg. Again, pick the loop that feels most comfortable on your body. Both legs come to tabletop. Now knees over hips, shins parallel to the ceiling. We're gonna begin flexing the feet and really just start off trying to find your pelvic stability. You're gonna to wanna to rock to your left side here, but really think about keeping that even pressure on the right side. Press the left leg out, bring the knee back and even closer in toward your chest if you like. So we're pressing out and long. Exhale, bring the leg back in slowly with control, keeping that right knee right over your hip, not closer in. Good, we're gonna go for five. This is four. Last three. Taking that leg as low as you can, control meaning as low as you can without dumping the pelvis forward. Now, legs to tabletop. We're gonna go for our dead bug. Bend both knees, dip the right toe down, left knee comes in toward your chest, press through the strap, bring it back in. So I'm not collapsing my feet down to my hamstring, keeping that right ankle in the knees, and I'm controlling the carriage so I'm not letting the spring just zip me back. That's not doing anything, right? So we're gonna continue on. You've got six. And switch. Notice what you're feeling on this side versus the other side. See if you notice any imbalances or differences in how well you can control. Three. Last two. And one. Once you're even, back to tabletop. Next, bicycles. We're gonna reach the right leg forward, left knee comes in. We're gonna draw a big circle with the feet. As we reach along, try to really anchor your foot to your hamstring, hopefully without kicking the springs, as I just did. So it goes. We really wanna feel like we get that activation in the back of the leg by squeezing the heel to the hamstring. Core is on, of course, try to keep the movement low, as low as you can, 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 can control. Last two, and one. Now we reverse, press low with the left foot, bring it down, around, and up as the other leg shoots out. I find this direction harder with this strap configuration personally, but your experience may be different. Good, we've got another four. Three. Last two. And one. Now both legs come to tabletop. Get yourself really anchored, because again, that left strap is gonna wanna pull us over to the left. We're gonna open the knees wide. Exhale, bring it back to center, reconfigure. Your balance if you need to, but remember, keep that pressure into your right hip to stay balanced here. Open, big inhale. Exhale, close as you come to center. You've got seven. Six. This is five. Four. Last three. Two. And one, good, anchor yourself down on the sandpaper with your right foot, get that strap off of the left foot and come to sitting up, we'll move on. Scooter stretch variations, we know them, we love them. We can stay on the heavy and the light or we can just re go for one heavy. Place your right foot aligned with the front of the machine, left toes curled under, foot up against the shoulder block, knee down, square off the hips, roll the shoulders back, tuck the pelvis under, let's just wing that knee back and forward just a couple times. Really take a moment to square your left hip forward. We're not twisting, but we really wanna get both hip bones equally face forward. 
So take a moment to check in with yourself. It might not be as obvious as it seems. You can curl up through the upper back to deepen this hip flexor stretch here, if you like. Just take this a couple more times. When you're ready, we lengthen through the lumbar spine, through the low back, really pressing into the foot bar here, especially with this extra spring here. We need that added pressure. Keep the chest open, collarbone wide as you bring it in. Press out, take another one, sink in a little bit lower if you need to. Bring it up. Next time we press out, we're gonna remove the right arm, twist to the right side, Look over the right shoulder, keep that pressure in the right hand. Inhale, place the hand down, bring it up. Find your split if you like. You can even flex your front foot forward if you'd like more hamstring stretch. Pressure into the bar, pressing with your hands. Bend the knee, bring it all the way in with control. Let's go to the other side. Left foot aligns with the front edge of your machine. Right knee down, toes curled under. Let's curl the spine, square off the hips. Right knee goes back and forth. Really getting that curl through the upper back to deepen the hip flexor stretch. I'm just gonna take a few of these. And when we're ready, we're gonna relax the back, send the carriage all the way home. Still keep that focus on rotating the right hip so it's fully facing the front wall. Proud chest, wide collarbone as you come up. Lengthened lumbar spine. Nice deep hip flexor stretch. And bring it home. Next time we go out, press out. Keep that pressure in the right hand. Reach the left arm up and over. Twist, look over your left shoulder. Reach the arm up, place it down on the foot bar. Proud chest shining forward as you come up. Last but not least, split. Extend the front leg, flex that front foot if you need more stretch here. Big breath in, exhale, close the stopper. You are all done. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like the full version of this workout, please join my membership to find it there. It includes a few more goodies and new challenges that are a little bit creative. So I hope you'll see me there. Of course, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I post new reformer workouts every Tuesday and I'd love to see you there. Thank you so much to my channel members. You guys are so important to me and extra special thanks to the folks who've been with me for six months or more. I can't thank you enough. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.